I think the, the really key thing that I've found uh, throughout my time at the ANU is that you're surrounded by a group of like-minded, brilliant, amazing people, and everyone's here having fun, and everyone's here, you know, learning things for the first time and trying to work out what it is that they want to do. Uh, and it's just so, so really amazing to be surrounded by that group of people and have that as your cohort coming through. Um, and, I, and I really think that is sort of what, you know, drives us all to, to try and do the best we can. So I've recently been nominated for the Law Student of the Year Award as part of the Australian Law Awards run by Lawyers Weekly. Uh, and very recently it was announced that I'd been uh, named one of the 10 finalists in the country. And it was really, it was really quite a shock. Um, so I was nominated by one of the lawyers that I worked at over summer uh, when I clerked up in Sydney. And it was really quite a shock to hear that, that I'd been nominated for such a prestigious award, which is really a recognition uh, over, over my work over the past 12 months while I've been studying at the ANU uh, and working here as well. So I've been really fortunate to study here at the ANU. Um, it's got some really fantastic academic staff who've really sort of mentored me throughout my degree. So in particular, um, Heather Roberts has been fantastic in, in supporting and, and pushing students uh, outside the classroom as, as well as obviously within the academic learning. And so what this has really meant is that there's been a, a huge range of opportunities available to me at the ANU. So I've been involved in a number of law reform and social justice projects. Recently, we've launched a COVID-19 blog talking about um, access to justice issues and, and rule of law issues around the government's response to COVID-19. We've also been involved in a few green law projects looking at the impact of environmental regulation in Australia. Um, and, and it's really these opportunities outside the classroom that are really fantastic. Um, so in terms of my own achievements over the past 12 months, last year I won the Global Undergraduate Awards essay competition for a paper that I'd written at the ANU. I've also been quite heavily involved in mooting at the ANU. Uh, so my team came second in the National Technology Law Mooting Competition last year uh, and we competed in the International Computational Law E-Mooting Competition um, early this year and we're very fortunate to be able to win that competition which, had, which was fully hosted online uh, and judged by lawyers over in the United Kingdom actually for the grand final. Just one more question, thank you for bearing with me Mr Lee. Um, you learned karate for a number of years, didn't you? Yes, that is correct. No further questions, thank you. I think the trick is there is no one who actually is really a natural performer in that forum. It's really just a matter of getting in, giving it a go, um, and you know the first time you get up there you're going to make it, probably make a total fool of yourself, but it doesn't matter because you're just surrounded by other like-minded students who are all giving it a crack for the first time. So it's really just a matter of seizing like every opportunity that you can to learn. Uh, Mooting's an example there, law reform and social justice projects, your studies as well, um, and just like dive in and take the opportunities um, and don't worry too much about it. We're actually just about to launch a mooting training program which is being facilitated um, in combination between the LSS Legal Oratory ACT and the Visiting Judges program at the university. And so there's going to be more support available there to students that are just starting out. Um, but by and large the message is just dive in and give it a crack because you don't know where it'll end up. I mean, asking someone right at the end, you know, what is it that you're going to do? You're about to, you know, step, step foot outside the university into the big world and it's a bit scary and exciting all at the same time. Um, I've been very fortunate to, to receive a position uh, as an associate at the Federal Court next year, so I'm looking forward to commencing that. Uh, and then, then after that I've got plans to come back to Canberra uh, to work at the ACT Supreme Court before returning uh, back up to Sydney to work at a firm. Um, so I've been quite fortunate and then everything's kind of, kind of all come together in, in that regard. But I know that certainly it's been very well set up. My, my education at the ANU has hopefully set me up um, to go on and do some fun and amazing things and, and we'll see where it all ends up in five, ten years.